Thank you, Cahir and Leader. I'm calling for a debate on the World Health Organization's Digital Health Initiative, which, which was recently launched. While the aim of this strategy may appear noble on the surface, it is essential that we carefully consider the risks it poses to civil liberties, personal autonomy, and the sovereignty of European Union member states. The WHO states that they're going to take up the European Union, the EU system of digital COVID-19 certificates to establish a global system that will help facilitate global mobility and protect citizens across the world from ongoing and future health threats. Leader, when the people of Ireland agreed to the EU COVID passports, they, did also, they didn't also consent to that data being retained and used to create a general purpose global medical ID. The WHO goes on to state that this is the first building block of the WHO Global Digital Health Certificate Network. This is a sure fry infringement upon our civil liberties. Digital health initiatives necessitate the collection and storage of vast amounts of personal data. While the protection of public health is undoubtedly important, we must not allow this pursuit to come at the expense of our fundamental rights to privacy and autonomy. The potential for abuse or misuse of personal data can never be taken lightly, as it can all too easily lay, lead to surveillance, profiling and the erosion of individual freedoms. At a personal level, placing excessive controls in the hands of supernatural organisations may lead to a one-size-fits-all approach that disregards individual circumstances, beliefs and preferences. Additionally, the impact of the sovereignty of the EU member states cannot be understated. Each country within the European Union has unique healthcare systems, policies and legal frameworks. Preserving the sovereignty of member states is essential to maintain the flexibility needed to address specific regional needs and challenges. The external imposition of a global strategy on digital health would severely undermine the ability of individual countries to make decisions in the best interests of their citizens and adapt to local circumstances. Instead of submitting to a global one-size-fits-all approach dictated by external entities, we should prioritise the development of our own robust national health strategy that aligns with our own values, priorities and legal framework. Thank you.